Hey guys, it's Ash the code here. Today we're going to be making a virtual pet in scratch. Before we start, if you need to channel, make sure to subscribe and the bell for more coding slash programming tutorials. Now let's get started. First, delete this sprite. Now let's choose our pet. So you could choose anything. You could choose sorry for that. Let's go to animals. You could choose a pet beetle, maybe. Choose a pet crab, pet sheep, pet cat, pet dinosaur, pet duck. But for me, I'm going to be using Fox. Now drag this up here. And now size this down to 80. Now after you've done that, just press the green flag for it to resize. Yes. So now we're going to just make like an introduction. Like let's say hi and like animate it that it move. And you can also draw your own pet if you want. If you don't know how to draw a pet, you go here, then you just press draw. You can if you can do this one and just draw a pet if you want to, or you can even upload a picture of a pet, anyone you like. But for me, I'm gonna use it for this place. Now, I want to make the introduction like when it comes. So say when click. So choose a name for your pet. So mm -hmm, let's see. I'm just gonna say one click. Say my name. Just say my name. My, I'm gonna write my name is Alex. That's not my name, but that's like my pet name. That's what the name I'm giving to this character in this game. Sorry about that. Now we've done that guys, now I want to make like an animation. So simply, just gonna go switch costume, bring on another one. Now change one to Fox A. So, because I think it's Fox B, it is a Fox A. Anyhow, just put Fox, switch costume to Fox A. Then, we're gonna say wait one, gonna say wait 1.2 seconds. 1.2 yes got that now I'm gonna say switch custom to fuck x fuck c now we're going to put this in a like a repeat loop we want to put this in a repeat loop so that it's gonna repeat this switch custom hmm 10 no no don't put 10 that's too much let's put mm, let's see let's put two times and i repeat two times yeah so let's see that okay before we do that I will hold on. let's choose a backdrop and if you don't know they added new new places new stuff in scratch for the background i don't think this was this castle two cast three was here before and also some new things the other new things like Come in, yeah. They added new things like tree, they added waterland, winter, woods. Some, some maybe it's there before, but I think they added. Anyhow, yeah, now me, I'm going to choose backdrop. Hmm, mm, let me choose blue sky now. Let's see if this works. It's cool. Say, if I click on it. You see, we do, we got it, but wait a minute. We want it to when we tap the character for it to switch. So quickly go to events, events. Now we're gonna say okay, now events. Okay, yes. When this sprite clicks, move this. When the sprite click. Now, so when my name is Alex. Now tap it. It comes up. Okay, let's do this to Fox B. I share again. My name is Alex. Tap it. It changed, yeah. So that's good, guys. So now it's done. Now we've done the introduction part, but we have to delete it because we have to make it 
one that it will animate for it and it's going to disturb the code. So quickly remove all this. And now we're going to add another sprite. What it will eat. Actually, I don't really know what fuck it. So let's just put bread. Now go to food. I'm going to choose bread. You can choose anything you want. And I'm going to put this here. And looking at it in the eyes. Yummy. Yeah, now, I want to go to the fox and get started coding. Okay, maybe we should resize it. Let's change the bread to 90. Yes. Now, let's start coding. Go to fox. And say when clicked. Now go to your variables. Let's make variables. So we want to keep track of hunger. So that we know when it's hungry. And we'll tap it to go and eat and reduce it. Very nice. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a like. And subscribe to the channel for more cool slash program. Sure if you have not. Now let's first make a variable. Now say hunger. Done. Make sure it's for all sprites. Press OK. Now we want to say go to control and put in a forever. Put in a forever. Go back to your variables and say set hunger to zero. So when it's time, I want you to set this hunger to zero as you can see here. Now we want to say wait three seconds. Then it should change hunger by one. So we want you to get hungry so that we can feed it say change hunger by one what well, we have to put this way three seconds because if we just put forever it's going to be changing like every instant so make sure to stop this because you're going to change so stop that now we're going to go to events and say when clicked okay remove this remove this remove this what I want to say now, now we finish this, now we finish this, let's make the food place. So now, go to variables, say when I, re let's see, something like when I receive, let's see control, control. Mm, uh, let's see, okay, let's make a message. I know we've not used this before, so this is a new thing, so make sure to pay close attention. Also, let Comment down below if you have any questions or problems while learning. Thank you so much. Let's continue. So now say broadcast message. Press new message. Want to say food? Yes. Press done. Okay. Okay. Press okay. Now say go to okay. We in bread now. This not this code is not meant to be in bread. It's meant to be in fox. So that's how. Okay, let's try and move that inside here. Yes, it's there now. Delete this, delete this. We don't need this. Want to? We're going to work in with new things now. So say when I receive full. Okay, press new message again. Want to broadcast a new message? We saved it before, but I don't know why it didn't do. Just let's do it again. Press OK. Now, I'm not going to do a lot of coding here. Just say broadcast food. Mm-hmm. When we say broadcast food, I want to make something for it. Okay, just put broadcast food actually. After you put that, we say when this sprite clicks. Where is this? Okay. Now, I want to go back to the fox. And let's continue. Now, you say, when I receive food, as you can see, it automatically does. Now, I want it to glide there. Like, he wants to, you know, they have to walk there. They can fly there. <laughs> so, I want to make something like that in animation. So, it's pretty easy. Just say glide one second to random position. I simply change this to bread. I hope you enjoyed this nice tutorial. Make sure you give it a like.
comment down below if you have any problem or questions. Now put this glad one seconds to bread. Now you want to say start sound. Go to your sound. Do not use sound. Go to sound here. And press this place. This is sound library. Now me want to use a sound bite. Like when it's it's in it. Actually you can look for anything wacky, something like that. See? Choose it. Use whatever whatever sound you want. Okay, let's try again. It's not working. Hmm. Let's look for it here. Yes. Tap it. Okay, now we're done. So now let's continue. We want to say start sound. So say start sound bite. Yeah. Now say change hunger by one. We want it to be getting on two. So say change hunger by one. Okay, is it already? Now put we'll change hunger by one. The one we're going to say. Did he hear it? He went there, did ram. Nice, guys. You're learning it and enjoying it. So now let's say wait one second. We want it to also glide back. Because when an animal finishes eating, it go, it will just stay there. So want it to go back to its previous position. You simply you just simply to do that. Just put there and now drag it back to where it was before. So somewhere around this place. No, this. Mm. Let's see where it was. Mm, yeah, I think that's where it was. Now, it's, if you don't know X and Y, so X and Y, the distance between 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 where my mouse pointer is moving now is the X. Then Y is how long it is. So if it's middle is zero up, it's going to be one eighty and down. Something like that. So I hope you understood that. Now. It automatically resets here, so just say glide one second back there. So now let's just scroll and check if it's there. Let's remove this and put this right over here. Now, so let's play it now. Let's just increase the size. Press this, press play. So let's get wait for it to get hungry. It gets hungry, you go there. It goes back. If it's hungry again, click it. Okay. It's working but wait 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 wait. We are meant to put something else too. So we want it to like reduce it after we get it. But it didn't do that. So you have to put like minus one food. Like it should reduce the hunger by minus one. So let's quickly add that. We're gonna say yes, it's meant to be minus one. Sorry about that. This is the mistake here. Minus one. Yay! Now let's play it again. Whoa. I remember we did the introduction at the first part. Nice. You see, let's wait for it to get hungry. So, two now we eat, it reduces. It's a very fun game for you to do. So, nice guys. So, we've come to the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you need if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell for more content slash programming tutorials. And if you had any problem, questions, or just want to say something, go below in the comments and tell me. And I will respond to every message. And make sure you like this video if you enjoyed it. And share it with your friends so they will learn how to go to tell them to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching everyone. Stay safe. Happy coding.